So recently there was a security issue with this code racer project. And I wanted to kind of make a video to kind of highlight how important it is to make sure that the things that you implement are double checked, triple checked to make sure you're not leaking private information across the wire. Um, so anyone who's been working on this project, I definitely recommend that you watch through this just so you have a better idea of like what you need to check for when you're building out applications. And for more experienced devs, this will be like a no brainer. So what's the issue? We have this leaderboard here and all this information is grabbed in a React server component. So for example, we do a query against the user's table and then we take that data and we render out this table here, right? Now, although you can't see email anywhere in this data, if you actually go to the request here and I'll go over here, this is all of the Next.js content that it gets sent over the wire, right? But if I search for Gmail, let's just go ahead and do a command F and type in Gmail. You'll notice that every single email is actually coming back over inside the data, right? Now these are all hard coded the web dev Cody. All right, if I do web dev Cody three, you know, that's in there. All right, web dev Cody four is in there, right? So even though this data is not displayed on the leaderboard, I don't know why I just went back. You'll notice that it's still in the network request. So someone who's smart enough could simply just open up your network request, click on the page and parse it for various types of data. So how does this happen with Next.js and just APIs in general? Well, let's go to the, the leaderboard. I'll say leaderboard page. All right, so when this page loads, if you look through here, at some point we do some requests and we say, hey, get all the users with some result counts. And then we also say get users with results. Um, if you were to dive into this code base, you'll notice that it just does a Prisma user find many, right? So the results that come back here, those will have everything that's in the user table, which if you go to the user table, or I guess I should say the user model, you'll notice that there's an email in here. Okay, so along with all the metadata that you really want, there's also emails and there could be other potentially sensitive pieces of information on the user model that you do not want to ever expose to the front end. Okay, so this request gets made, which gets set in here. And because this is a React server component, technically this stuff will only live on the server until you pass it to a client component. So this is the issue. We're passing the user information as is, which has the email on it directly to a user's table component. And that user's table has a use client, which means that all of the props that you're passing in are gonna get sent over inside of this Next.js payload that I mentioned, right? So it has to cache this information somehow so that it knows how to hydrate and re-render everything. Now I'll say this isn't just like a Next.js problem. This same thing can happen on your backend API, although it might be a little bit more apparent when your API is sending over emails versus with Next.js, you don't know that that data is being passed over because you know it's a very fine line between your server components and your client components. And if you pass in the wrong props, all those will be exposed like I just mentioned. So what are the key takeaways? How do you prevent this? How do you fix this? Well, obviously you have to either omit that information. So one approach is that you could basically go like this. I could say const users is equal to this. And then down here, I could say like omit users and then like email, right? So if you bring in like a low dash omit, you could potentially just remove all the emails from all the users and that could potentially fix the issue. Now, the trouble with that is that now you have to remember everywhere in your application that you fetch users, you have to go and you have to make sure you emit. And I think we do this a couple places. If you do a control F find, you'll see we kind of do this um, in various places. Find many, find first. Um, we do it in loaders. Sometimes we do it in the C data, so it's not that important. Sometimes we do it on only back and related code. But you can see like the, the line is kind of muddied. It's hard to tell where we're doing these calls and when you need to actually like emit stuff. Okay, so I would personally not recommend that approach. This is also why a lot of people will wrap this in a layer, right? You'll have like a data model layer and the only place you can ever access user data is from using your own custom model, which means that your model has the ability to strip fields before it gets sent back to your actual code. Right, that's another approach you could do. But again, you still have to remember to put emits everywhere. You still have to remember to emit fields and stuff like that. And there's extra complexity of like making a, you know more methods just so you can do that. So what I would recommend doing instead of just emitting here, which is again, error, error prone, is I would just make sure that anytime you're fetching data from a table that might have sensitive data is make sure you always use a select statement. So let me show you my fix. Anytime you're fetching data from a table, it's probably a good idea just to use select statements because you're only ever going to get back the data that was whitelisted here in this select statement. 
You're not gonna get email back. You're not gonna get any type of sensitive data. You're only gonna get the data that's needed. And more specifically, this is good because it's going to reduce the payload that's sent over, right? Remember, all this information, all the, the properties for every user is gonna get sent over in the initial request to your front end because of how Next's you know, hydration kind of works, right? So the less data you fetch from the back end, not only is your query gonna be faster, like getting the data from the database is gonna be faster, sending the data back from your API to the client is gonna be a smaller payload, which means it's gonna be faster. And I would recommend doing this because now you don't have to worry about like putting omits everywhere in your code base, right? Because if you don't have the select, you're basically just doing like a select star. Like if you're doing like raw SQL, you've probably seen select star, right? This is also not really recommended because like you're just fetching back all the data and you may not even need that data, right? We have the ability to write these very specific functions that run in a React server components when the component initializes. So if you have that ability, just make it a specific select statement here that only fetches the data that you need. And I think there's a couple of other places in the application that I also just added select statements. And this is the fix that I would kind of recommend doing. Okay, so the key takeaways of this video, especially anyone who's working on this code racer app, is make sure that you're always verifying that the data that you're fetching is the least amount of data that you possibly need to get your application working. Because leaking emails to everyone else, like you don't want to be able to go into a, an application and find out the emails for every single user. That's definitely a big issue, right? So go through here and anything else, for example, like if we're doing joins with account, you know, there's a refresh token here. You wanna make sure that we don't actually leak anything from this account model to the front end. Luckily, I don't think we're doing any like Prisma.accounts. Okay, so like that won't get leaked. Same thing with session, you probably don't wanna ever leak anything. Verification token, you probably don't wanna leak anything like that. And I was kind of reading through the Prisma GitHub issues and some people are recommending that, hey, like can we just add the ability to put like private on this field so that when you do a select star, it'll just automatically emit this. I think that'd be pretty cool, um, but there hasn't really been much traction on that. Also, it might be cool just to, you know, instead of having to do a select, you could just say emit email true. That might be something cool, but that again does not exist in in uh, Prisma, so you can't do that either. So I think the best solution you could potentially do is just do a select and handpick the things that you actually need. All right, well, I hope you guys learned something from watching this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and press the bell icon. And like always, I have a Discord channel that you're welcome to join if you want to find a place to hang out and talk to some other developers. Other than that, have a good day. Happy coding.